Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie with Natalie's Closet. And today we aren't doing a local fiber art shop uh, because we didn't have a chance to actually do the weekend thing yet, which wasn't actually in the plan for this weekend yet. And I haven't been able to reach a couple of the other ones that are local. Uh, so I'm still trying to do that. So I figured I would take you with me to Michael's since I had to go and find some stickers. So I will be back after my intro and um, the video tour at Michael's and then I'll show you kind of what I got. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Guys, so today we're not gonna have a local yarn shop tour because I wasn't able to set anything up with the needlepoint shops that I was wanting to go to. And this wasn't the weekend that we were going to be able to go to the East Coast for a weekend trip. So I decided, since I need some stickers and stuff, to just go to Michael's and show you. This is a Michael's I haven't taken you guys to before. So I figured I would show you kind of sort of what maybe... I'm only going to go to the areas that I'm actually interested in. And I'll go through the yarn shop, although I'm not really going to be buying any yarn, but I'm going to go ahead and go through there so you guys can see stuff. So I am going to flip you guys around in one second when I get to an, an area where there's no people. <laughs> okay, hold on one second. Okay, so the first thing I saw was this hipster cotton. I think I've recently heard people talking about 100% cotton. I mean, all things considered, it's pretty pretty soft. It's It's definitely wearable. Um, $7.99 no specials or anything but there's some cute colors in it oh and here's that chameleon I've been seeing the color changing one and it's funny because I just did a give my 1250 subscriber giveaway the granny D one look my nails messed up again um, I had some color changing um, Sun the ones that change in the Sun which is this one um, from Unique Yarns, which yes is an affiliate link down below, but it's they were I think 100% cotton also. But this is uh, actually relatively soft. I'm gonna smell it because I've heard people saying that it doesn't smell nice. Hold on, I don't smell anything like ridiculous. Um, but so this one I'm guessing is the pink one because it's got a pink label. And then there's the yellow and the purple. Um, I'm not going to get any, so we're not going outside with it. But uh, anyway, so here's red, white, and blue section, which I always check out because you never know if I'm going to find something you know, like for 40% off. And then you've got um, scrapbook and paper, paper crafting and stuff like that. I am going to be going to stickers, so we're going to... Oh, which, here we go. I'll take you down the aisle, but I'm not going to show you exactly what it is I pick up. But look, these are 99 cents. The only thing is, is there are none that are really like sparkly, but you all know. The one thing I'm kind of like sad about, or not sad, but like what the heck about, is that um, they don't have any like yarn specific um okay you guys I'm, I'm i'm picking some out but i'm talking so that um you're not necessarily seeing what i'm picking you saw one of them but anyway um that they don't have any kind of yarn specific stickers um and look at this section it used to be stuffed to the gills or at least mine used to be of stickers and they always 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 not always okay let me take a couple of those always as a way. Um, they oftentimes had sales, 40% off, um, you know, d different stuff like that. And I haven't seen a sale outside of things, um, stickers going on clearance in, I can't even, I can't even remember. Um, and to me, that is very, very sad because it's hard for me to pick out stickers online because I like, you know, I like glittery ones or the ones that are holographic or like foil um, ones. And even though I will type that into the search, 
so often that it's not what it is. And like these are holographic. You see, it's got the spe the whole rainbow spectrum. It's a dancing rainbow. That's holographic. But I've typed in hollow stickers or holographic stickers. I've even typed in the names, like the websites off of the sticker things. I love these. But I think I have a couple of them. Oh, these are really cute though. Okay, I hope there's a coupon somewhere because I don't like paying even $2.99. I know that sounds cheap, but it adds up very quickly. Those are kind of cute. Anyway, um, I can't ever find the stickers I really, 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 really want. And it's very frustrating for me. So, ooh, I love Sticko brand. No, but these are not, oops, sorry, I was not in frame. These I love too, all of these stones and stuff. I think they're so fun, but I don't really, really, really have a need for them. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go through this side, um, but and I'll come back once we start walking around the store. Ooh, look at those, look at that holographic, that's awesome. Anyway, um, so I will, you know what? Maybe I should get some letters. I can't get 3D ones because I want to do it like on the outside. Oh, but look at those. <gasps> look at those. Oh, man. No, oh, man. Guys. But they have sparkly flat ones too. Look at these. These are cool beans. But they're kind of 3D also. I mean, not 3D, but they're raised. That's not like, like totally flat anyway okay so i'm gonna go through this section and then i'll come back once we go we move on all right i'll see you guys soon bye okay guys so we're gonna go ahead and continue down here i'm gonna try to not get people in here um i got some stickers they very seriously have very few of the kind that i actually normally get but i was able to get some so Oh look, all paper crafting cards, tag stamps, glitter, ink, and embossing supplies, 25% off. The stickers are regular price, however, there is a 20% off coupon. Oh yeah, I love that. Um, ooh, glitter, 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 glitter. Yes, love this section. I want one of those big tubs and just like throw it everywhere and just have glitter everywhere. Um... 25% off isn't that well I mean I guess it's three dollars I just can't remember which ones I don't have look at this hollow Yay! I like this pink one can't remember if I have it though I guess I should have been better prepared that's raspberry and I don't think I have that one I have cherry for my Christmas cards all right guys so let's oh but look at this it's like a frosted like i don't know what is that polyester glitter doesn't have a color on it <gasps> look at that one isn't that pretty and this one's beautiful i love this green one hold on guys I'm not, i can't get it back in okay i love this green one like love it anyway okay so I'm going, ooh, this is beautiful. Oh, is that red? Can't believe it. If it's red, I don't, I'm not a red person, like, at all. But, all right. So, I guess we'll go ahead and head towards the yarn. I, th I think in the store it's in the back. Um, I really could probably use, um, no. I, no, I don't need one. Because, hey, an amazing friend, well, you all are amazing friends, but, one of my amazing friends that are part of the channel. I'm sorry that I'm panning you guys around like crazy. What's my problem? Um, she is making me a custom birthday book um, so that I can... Oh, look here. Um, so that I have everything that I need. We're, we're customizing the actual pages uh oh I, maybe i shouldn't have been talking about this Ooh, are those the sterling silver ones i use no but they're just the premium metals darn they've gotten rid of the sterling silver and that's what i used to always use ay, 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 ay. nope see these are just nickel free but 
They're not the sterling silver. <laughs> you know what? I may have to go on to Robin's um, Etsy shop with Fat Cat Beads and see what kind of goodies she's got when it comes to this and support a small business. As you all know, I am so passionate about. And you all know my money is where <laughs> my mouth is, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, but wait, let's see what this is. Oops, sorry. Oh, glue on. Nope, I thought that was... I was I was looking through the viewfinder and not seeing <laughs> what I thought I was seeing. Anyway, um, I may have to go on to her Etsy shop. I mean, I have a coupon code I can use um, and support her amazing business. That's where I have the... Um, the stitch marker tree that you guys have seen on uh, um, Wednesday's video this this um, or last week I keep forgetting this is going up on Monday I need to remember my days here paint oh writ 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 let's see what kind of writ dyes they've got here Oh, my hand's cramping up. Synthetic fiber dye, but I don't do synthetic fibers as much. For cotton, wool, nylon, and more. So this is not recommended for synthetic fiber, fiber which is fine. One package will dye one round of dry fabric. So is this... Okay, I'm going to ask you guys before I end up buying it. I showed you guys my tie-dye um, set that I got from Michael. I mean, uh, Home Goods. But before I invest in these, are these the writ dyes? Which ones are they? These in the box or these in the bottles that people use for dyeing? Um, those are for synthetic. These are all-purpose cotton, wool, nylon. Um, but look at that neon green Ooh, tangerine coral <laughs> cherry red fuchsia oh my gosh i'm like in heaven but you know what i do need to find is i need to get wilton's the pink one i just need the pink one and i can't remember what section i got the wilton's in last time i think it was in Ooh, ooh. Sorry, I'm, it's like squirrels are running past. I was watching a live. I don't remember who. Oh, I think it was on Rose's channel with Rose Likes Crochet. And she had um, fiber, Craig with Fiber Spider on the panel. And, oh, I'm drawing a blank. I've recently been on a lot of lives and I'm drawing a blank on who else was on the panel. But um, uh, Craig was like, you know, I'll be... You know, going along and then something catches my attention. It's like squirrel, you know, like dogs, you know, react to squirrels and stuff. This I use uh, for my stitch markers when I have the time to make them. I do a lot of Swarovski crystals and the sterling silver, you know, like um, head pins and, and other accessories and stuff. These are typically, it's rarely that they're on sale, but um, the beads... I think it's at our 25% off. Honestly, I really don't need any more beads right now because I haven't been actively making stitch markers, which I really, really need to get into. Look, I think I have a set of these. I think they're just so cute. These parrots are cute too. Huh? These are cute. I have snowmen. I think I still have snowmen. I can't remember. No, I have Santa Clauses. But, um... Yeah, baby, for Halloween. Oops, my my camera started to flip out there for a second. Anyway, just wanted to show you. You guys probably have the same selection at your Michaels. Uh -uh. But... Sorry if I'm making you guys sick by panning you too fast, but... Uh, crap, I can't remember what I was saying before. I'm trying to look for specific ones that I can't find right now. Well, these are pretty. I love, like, stones and stuff. Those are really pretty. My hand's cramping up, guys. All right, anyway, I have to go by the... I think it was... Oops, I'm going to stay down. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you dizzy like that, but somebody was right in front of me. Where did I say I found the 
Wilton's. I think it was in the, oh right, cake decorating section. Oh wait, what is here? No, this is regular. Oh right, hello, because it's food coloring. I'm such a dork. I'm not looking for dye, like regular dyes. I'm looking for food coloring. So we got to find the, oh, we got to find the cake. Ooh, look at <laughs> this sparkle is what caught my attention. Seriously, it's, it very much is like um, squirrels. But look, diamond painting, ooh, this one's pretty. Look at that, I wonder if it's the whole picture. They have really, really nice ones. Oh look, there's a Starry Night by Van Gogh. No wait, that's not a Starry, is that Starry Night? Or is this one? Oh, oh no wait, these aren't diamond paintings, these are, Guys, why didn't you correct me? They're paint by number. I think that's kind of cool too. But I cannot start a new, um, a new thing. It's already bad enough. I need to be starting, or that not bad enough, but that I'm starting needlepoint for one project. Ooh, these are actually really pretty. These are actually, you guys know I'm obsessed with soft, and honestly, I don't find many yarns that are really like but these are nice cotton ripple cakes 100% cotton totally wearable it's a light three so DK weight these are actually really pretty look at that shawl that's pretty they don't have many many left 60% off what they're four dollars oh, dudes no, I don't need this at all, but 491 yards. What? I prefer the yellow, but they only have one. But that's real. Eh. I like it better in the camera. It looks brighter, like a sunny yellow. In, in here, it's actually, it looks more mustardy. But $4. 400 yards. Hmm. I may just get one. Okay, so here, let's see, fabric, stationary kits, Velcro, faster scissors, googly eyes. Okay, so where's the yarn? The yarn used to be back here. This is very strange. 60% off, baby. See, this isn't my, th I don't know, just, there's nothing wrong with it. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. I'm just so unaccustomed to working with acrylic this is 82 acrylic and 18 nylon 60 percent off wow you guys i'm sure are probably saying buy that buy that buy that nope what's this i bet this isn't on sale though limited time only cream cotton this is actually very soft is that chain spun no Mm, it could be. Anyway, I highly doubt that's... Oh, baby cakes. Oh, I, we already saw baby cakes, right? Cotton angel cakes. Mm. Whoa. Sorry, guys. I just bumped into this thing back here. This is a really pretty color, but I don't need it. Now, I do want to make... If you're on my live this past Tuesday you guys know what I want to make that would require um like Bernat baby blanket yarn or something like that which I still have some but not in the colors that I would want to make what I want to make <gasps> puzzles I'm obsessed with puzzles I will take well but I'm very particular with so this is kind of soft also but let's see what is it? I haven't been to a big box store for yarn and I don't know how long. What, what, am I missing what it is? Baby rainbow. I'm missing. You guys are probably yelling. Oh, 100% polyester. Hello, it's right there. Those are actually really pretty colors. I like, well, no. That mint is kind of pretty. So is that blue. The lavender. 60% off, so four bucks. Bernat. Now see, I like this Bernat bundle up. This looks chain spun. Anyway, 
100% polyester. It's a, I don't know that this is a true worsted weight. It looks more like a DK. That's actually quite, that's actually pretty soft. This one's pretty. Four bucks. Two balls makes that blanket. Yardage here, 478 yards. Hmm. I seriously don't need it though. I need baby blanket or um, blanket yarn. That is really pretty. 400, 400 and something yards. All right. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and pause this until I find the rest of the yarn. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, guys. So we, I looked down this way. This was where it said Velcro fastener scissors and stuff. I guess this is where the yarn is. Oh, look. I used to make friendship bracelets like crazy, but I never used one of those little car cardboard things. I did it just, we'd like hold it between our knees or the end of it or on something and we just work it that way. All right, I could make what I was wanting to make out of this guy, but I'd need probably like a hundred rolls. <laughs> I mean, a hundred skeins. But here's some more baby. Oh, I like this color. It's really pretty. But I don't see anything on sale here, so I don't need any of it that badly. This is kind of pretty. Is it stripes or something? I don't know. Well, it's only five dollars. Still not the color I'd want though. So I'm just trying to see if there were any like clearance stickers or something. All right, so then here is a little bit more yarn. Pound of love. We're needing to actually start getting going. Oh crap, we gotta get going because um. We need to run to Trader Joe's. So, I'm just going to quickly show you the selections here. Clearance yarn for a dollar. Nothing I need, but it looks like it's Charisma. Yeah, denim. That's pretty coral up there. Here's some fill, polyfill. I don't mean to pan you guys. Oh my gosh, I love that neon like orange up there. Nothing's really on sale. They have some clearance stuff right here. But there's very little in there and nothing I really need. No nope. woolies. Don't need it. I've never seen their shelves look this messy. It's very strange. All right, guys, so that's, I like this one. Oh, I like that coral or orange, I guess. All right, so this is it as far as yarn is concerned. I, I don't need it, so. I do like these, but the problem is, is so often when I've come by here, they look so dirty and I'm thinking it's just simply because so many fingers on them, but, um, ooh, clearance hooks or clearance notions. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. Oh, look, bamboo ones for five bucks. I don't need double pointed though. All right, guys, anyway, I need to wrap this up and try to find the cake decorating section so I can get some more pink Wilton's um, food coloring. So I may see, ooh, look. <laughs> so distractible right now, it's not funny. Discounted stuff, discounted glitter, you see that? It's like a dollar or something. People, get me out of here. I'm gonna get in so much trouble. <gasps> Three dollars, extra fine glitter that's a pretty color three bucks I wish no see 
If this one, whoa, was three dollars, yeah, totally. But all right, guys. So I'm gonna go find the Wilton's food coloring, and then we're wrapping it up and checking out. So I will see you guys soon. I don't know that this was of any major interest or anything new for you. Um, we all have basically, I think, the same stuff in our Michaels, but I don't know. So, if you have any questions or anything else, let me know. Um, remember, this will count as a video that you, you will want to let me know what your favorite was. Whether, Well, I'm not really going to be going through the stickers I got unless they're the stickers that I got for myself to use. Oh, look, clearance. Um, oh, there's some clearance yarn, I see. Um, unless... There's uh, some um, ooh, sparkly yarn. No woolies. Not soft. One that's not bad, but it's. Anyway, um, let me know. I don't even know what I was saying. Let me know what your favorite is or was. Um, oh, I may show you the stickers that I decided to keep that I would probably be using for, you know. Um, cards to you guys but as far as any that are for a giveaway I wouldn't be showing those look pink $4.99 but I used all my pink to make that amazing um, dip dyed yarn and the, uh, oh man I gotta lean over and get it alright guys I gotta go so let me know what your favorite was or is. If you have any questions, let me know. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. And of course, you'll see, I'll wrap it up on the regular video, you know, in front of my skate. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Hope this was of some kind of interest. I mean, I know several of you said you just enjoy going shopping with me. So anyway, have a great day. Or no, you'll hear me in just a second. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, so we were looking for some gold paint and so we found, look at glitter paint i know that i mean so glitter paint what craziness i love it I lo Ooh, holographic illusions holographic glitter paint <gasps> but see you know what they all say holographic i mean that is on the label it's holographic but i don't know that the inside is but you know whatever I'm not gonna argue with the it's, oh my gosh but check this out sorry I just panned you guys like crazy but look at this hot pink hot or er, neon pink neon orange neon um, green that blues not quite neon but are those not awesome all right guys see you later we have to get out of here and head over to Trader Joe's so now that I said goodbye to you in the wrong way um, I'm going to say it again, <laughs> so you guys will see me in a little bit. My mom says, hi guys. Okay, and are you saying bye or just hi? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> bye. Okay. All right, guys, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so welcome back. Um, I don't really need to say, so what did you think? Because so many of us have Michaels, and I'm pretty sure that for the most part, a lot of the stuff is similar, if not the same. So... You can let me know what you think and this will count even though typically if we're not actually doing a local yarn shop tour I don't normally ask you guys what your favorite is but feel free to let me know if you saw something in particular because I know there are a lot of you that can't even get out to go to Michael's so or Joann's or Hobby Lobby or any any or any store for that matter so I hope you guys enjoyed it I was very distractible um, so I hope that wasn't in and of itself distracting, but let me know what your favorite was or what you enjoyed the most or, you know, anything like that. Just let me know in the comment section below. That will count as an entry into a future surprise giveaway, which yes, that was all designed around small business. But like I said, that wasn't in the cards for this weekend. Anyway, um... I do apologize that we didn't have a getting to know you last week. I did have every intention of doing it, even when I had my impromptu live Saturday night, which we had a lot of traffic, so I was happy about that, but um, I was planning on recording it 
after the live but we got off so late it was like 1 30 or something like that and I was exhausted so I didn't set up for the video and then Sunday it was like one thing after another and then we went swimming later in the day and we were both just wiped and yeah so I apologize this week will be a double one again and I will, of course, at that point, announce the subs a subscriber of the week winner, and um, you will be able to enter this on, on this next getting to know you for this week then. Okay, so my mouth, it's really weird. Like, this whole section right here feels, like, numb and tingly, like it would after the dentist appointment when you've, you're coming out of the Novocaine and stuff. And I wasn't at the dentist, so it's it feels really weird. Like, just this side right here is it feels, yeah, very interesting. Um, so I'm going to be watching my face to make sure there are no issues. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm going. Excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and share with you what I did end up getting. I'm not going to show you all of the stickers. I will show you some of them, and then I do have two. Um, happy mails to open. One is uh, May's yarn of the month for Ditastic, and then I also have um, a car. Well, I have something from one of you amazing viewers, which uh, at first I wasn't gonna. I, yeah, I will let you know who it's from when I open it because she said I could go ahead and let you know who it's from <laughs> because originally I was not gonna really get into that. Okay, so. As you guys saw, or no, actually, I'm going to do that last. Um, let's go into the bag from Michael. So I did pick up, I did actually go, I did put it back three times, and then I decided to go ahead and get it, even though I really have no use for it <laughs> right now, but I just liked it and wanted to go ahead and give it a try. But the Karen Cotton Ripple Cake, um, or Cakes, I went ahead and I picked one up. You guys know I haven't I haven't gotten any kind of big box yarn in a very very long time, uh, but I really liked the way this looked. I like how it's thinner and thicker in areas, and then it, it's got like a thread almost, like um, I don't know if you can if it's focusing enough that you can see that that's wrapped around the actual yarn. So I kind of liked it, and the fact that, oh, let me give you the stats. It's 100% cotton, it's a 240-gram skein, 491 yards, it's soft summer stripes collection, um, and the colorway, am I missing that? Blush. Um, and it calls for a 5-millimeter hook, but um, I just like the way it looked, and being 100% cotton, I really think it's a very soft cotton, cause, you know, because cotton can oftentimes be a bit rough. But because it was soft and it was cotton, I was like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and get one. Now, I really did like the yellow that was there, except that it wasn't bright enough. It was on camera, but in real life, it was more mustardy. And not that I don't like mustard colored, ye um, yellow, mustard yellow colored yarn, but... This one kind of called to me more than even the pink, which kind of surprised me. So I got that. Then I went ahead and, and I showed all of this on the live because the live tends to, my lives tend to get a sneak peek. If I'm, if I was able to pre-record a video that would have me showing something, I, I, not always, but there are times when I would do a sneak peek on my lives um, with the promise that they'll still come and watch the video. But anyway... Um, I did get the pink um, Wilton's uh, Color Right food coloring because I used my entire bottle of pink between that the first dip dye yarn that I did, which was the pink one, and then the hand painted one that had the green, the pink, and the purple. I used the entire bottle, so I got some more of that, and I did have a twenty percent off coupon, which was I was very happy about because that was five bucks. Not that that's ridiculous. I mean, honestly, it really isn't. But, oh, yeah, and remember, let me know with the RIT dye. Do, is it the bottle, the liquid ones that everybody gets for dyeing yarn, or is it the boxed one? Um, I would like to know that so that I could get some so I could also try the RIT dye out. Um, and then I got these, this necklace and earring cards, card holders, um, 
which these were like $5.99 also, but I figured once I get back to making stitch markers, because I've made a bunch, I've not sold any because I've given them all away, uh, because it ended up making me think of somebody. So I was like, oh, this person will like this one. Oh, this person will like, yeah. So I ended up giving them all away <laughs> instead of selling them like I'm supposed to do. But I figured having the black cards would help pick up the sparkle and stuff when I do. Well, first is also to send them because it's a hard backing, but also to take pictures. Hopefully it'll pick up the sparkle because I do tend, as I said in the, in the video, I try to use for the most part Swarovski crystals. I do have a lot of beads as well, but, and I am still, I haven't gone on to Fat Cat Beads, um, Etsy shop yet to see if she has any either sterling silver or higher quality metals but that's what I tend to also use on my stitch markers but once I get back to them because I have so many supplies to make them just haven't made them because my desk is a little um full <laughs> right now I will at least have the I just keep biting my mouth and this tingling still happens anyway I will have the cards to be able to display and send them all right so then also have stickers now these three I'm not going to show you because they are for subscribe they're going to be put aside for subscriber of the week um but these I got I love them they are holographic I love it you all know I am obsessed with holographic stuff so it's the uppercase letters on both sides but I love it for holographic that's just fun um and I figured I might start like putting words and stuff either on the outside of the envelopes or maybe on the inside or something I don't know I I, I don't know I don't know I'm creative but I'm not always that creative and sometimes have to think about it but then other times it just kind of clicks so it just has to be one of those moments I guess <laughs> but then I also got the teal glitter letters I was going to get this really large um or long sheet of light pink ones but they were really light and it it was almost difficult to see them so i'm like okay that's not really going to help so i got the teal ones and they've got the glitter on their glitter letters and then this side has the letters and the lowercase letters has the numbers and the lowercase letters did i say that right okay anyway so i got those then many of you have either seen these as stickers i've put onto your cards and or have actually received them as my subscriber of the week. But these are one of my favorite. And anytime I see them, if I don't buy them all, I get at least one or two um, packs of them. But the dragonflies, I love dragonflies. Love, love, love dragonflies. I so wish they had a sheet of watermelon. I'd be like, oh, that would be awesome. But love my dragonflies. So I got those. I got three sheets of these because... They are holographic and fish, and I love fish. I love anything water life. I am a Pisces after all, um, but I got three sheets of those. Those are not for giveaways. Those are for me. <laughs> I will, I only use them on my cards to you guys or to family, but they're for me. <laughs> then I got these ladybugs, which I showed you guys in the video, I think. Um, they are also... Um, you know, hollow and ladybugs, which I think ladybugs are really cute. The only thing with these, and there are a couple other ones that are not quite 3D, like the dragonflies are 3D. They have like a raised um, like pad, which is the sticker. So they're actually like raised off the card or off the whatever you stick it on. But the pad itself is pretty sticky. With these, the back of it is what is the sticker, but they are slightly raised. And I've noticed, first of all, I will not put them on the outside of a card because they will fall off. Um, so the, I only put them on the inside of cards. And, but they do sometimes tend to fall off. They'll unstick themselves, which is kind of something I don't like. But I still love them because they're colorful and holographic. So I had to get them. Then these, I was really, I was, I haven't seen these yet in, in Michael's or they've been sold out or something, but they're by recollections. I love, um, well, these are recollections also, but I, I love, uh, the Sticko brand. Those are really cool. And they oftentimes have holographic or sparkly or whatever, 
but these aren't sparkly, but I just thought they were adorable. Now this particular set could end up being in a, as a subscriber of the week. I don't know, but I will show it to you anyway. My issue is, is I have a bunch of like little cards that I could send out to for subscriber of the week, but I can't because I can't find sticker sets that small that I really like. Um, so I have to do the larger card, like a standard card size. Um, but then on the Sticko brand, I can fold the top like where the little hanger is without a problem. These may be a little bit more problematic without making the stickers raise up themselves. So this is why I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this for a subscriber of the week or not. But it's not sparkly at all, but I just loved it because you know it's got the pinatas and the tacos and avocados and, and the drinks and stuff. I just thought they were really cute. Then these I loved because uh, they're drinks. And so I figured that would be fun to put onto cards at times. And then these are holographic, had to get them. Even if I didn't like them, I had to get, okay, that's not true. I wouldn't necessarily get it if I didn't like them at least a little bit, but they're really cute, summer themed, and they are holographic. You can see it kind of in the sunglasses and, you know, in different things. So I just thought these were really cute. And then these have not sparkle, but they have like a gold um, foil on parts of them. I don't know if you can see that on some of them, like on the popsicle and stuff. Uh, so I was like, those are really cute. So I went ahead and I got those as well. So that's it for the stickers and the couple that I got for subscriber of the week. And I got that yarn and the Wilton's food coloring, the stitch marker backings, and what you saw in the thumbnail. My mom and I typically around Memorial Day, but sometimes like the weekend before, it becomes pool weather for us. Not pool weather outside because it gets hot earlier than that, but the water in the pool because we don't have a heater in the pool. And we've been here like, okay, I'm always hot. It doesn't matter. I'm always hot. However, when it comes to swimming, I let, I've gotten to the point where I can only tolerate water like 85 degrees and higher. What? I know. Once it gets to 90, it's basically bath water and it's not very refreshing. Like you have to get up on the float and bake yourself and then get in the pool to actually feel like a kind of a relief. And then it's like pool water, I mean bath water again. But between 85 and like 88 is like the perfect temperature in the pool. Actually 86 to 88 is like the perfect temperature in the pool. So by Memorial Day, typically the pool is at the ideal temperature. So we the last two years we ended up getting like something fun to play with in the pool um last year it was like these little beanbag balls and it had like these um not quite tennis racket but they weren't really rackets but it had a racket it was kind of a racket but it had like a um like a really soft material that was like you would you would catch you know throw them back and forth but it would get caught kind of in the it wasn't a net but if imagine a net but made out of a solid material and it was fun we still we still managed to have fun with it the year before that it, we got something that wasn't designed for the pool we thought it was but the, it was like a thing that had like the strap on the back that you could put over your hand and it had like velcro on here and then these like balls that would stick and you would kind of throw and try to catch it but we didn't realize it was cardboard behind it because it was being sold in like the pool or water section and it kind of like disintegrated like the first time we used it. So we we're like, okay, this doesn't work. But this year when we were at Michael's just now, we saw something and it was like 60%. It was 60% off. It was like $5.99 less 60%. So I was like, or was it 40%? Maybe it was 40%. I can't remember. But still it was a, it was cheap. So we went ahead and we got it. And I think this is going to last for years. Because after we get out of the pool, whether it's our exercise equipment or, um, well, the float and the noodles stay in the pool, but the, we take out our exercise equipment and the, and the um, skimmer thing that we use to skim the top of the pool and stuff. That all comes out and we rinse everything off so that we rinse the chlorine off so hopefully it has a longer lifespan. These we do the same thing with and I think they're gonna last a little while, but these really cute and I mean, oh my gosh, bright pink. And the purple um, rackets and it's got little birdies. So the bad game, not bad gammon, bat gammon, bat gammon. What the heck is the, that's not the right, that's not the right toy, that's not the right game, is it? Just smacked myself in the face with it. Anyway, whatever it is, 
This was so much fun. We used it for the first time on Saturday and then we used it again yesterday. We happened to go in before the rain. Um, we had so much fun. I knocked it out of the pool a couple of times and then one time I slipped, my foot slipped and I was, I dunked under the water and we just have a good old time. We're laughing and, and everything. Sometimes it could get frustrating because it doesn't actually go anywhere <laughs> and so we're not actually going back and forth. But it, it, we still have a lot of fun and we do a lot of laughing and it's good exercise because we end up stretching and we're, you know, whatever. And the pool's like 24 feet long. So we're able to kind of, you know, get some, we, we get, we get a lot of action without it falling out of the way. Now, the only thing is, is typically it's the sun, depending on the time of day is in one of our eyes. So it makes it a little bit harder. We could go with, or, you know, like width wise, but it's only 12 feet wide and we would for sure get it out of the pool. So we just deal with it and and go from there but these are a lot of fun and they're hard plastic um the handles were the only thing i was kind of maybe wor worried about but they seem to be fine they're like a foam kind of sort of so great thing for the pool if you guys have a pool and you're looking for something to have fun with um that's not expensive because the exercise stuff was enough i mean we have bar dumbbells and and um like these gloves that are webbed to help with resistance and stuff but if I have a video from Memorial Day weekend on my membership, um, uh, my membership subscriptions that kind of went over everything that we use in the pool. <laughs> um, but anyway, so that's it for Michael's um, and for what this video is going to be about. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly open um, Ditastic and my um, letter or card or envelope, let's say envelope. I am, okay, so Beth told me I could go ahead and let everybody know who it's from. It's from Beth and her granddaughter. And her granddaughter is who, um, uh, I'm not, I, I'm, I don't, depending on the age of the child, I don't like to give the actual name. So that's why I'm not going to give her name. Uh, but because she's not my granddaughter either to make that decision. I think Beth said it wasn't a problem, but I just want to respect her, you know, Beth and, and her granddaughter and stuff. So I'm not going to give her name, but she's the one her granddaughter is the one she's 12 and she's the one who decorated this envelope and it is so sweet i love it i absolutely love it of course i squealed i didn't realize it was going to be in my p.o box today and i was like i squealed i was so excited i was like oh my god it's from Beth. i mean yeah somebody like jumped because <laughs> they weren't expecting that reaction but look i don't care if you see my address because that's my um p.o box but look at how cute all of these decorations are, I mean, with the water and the car and look of bicycle. Yeah, I'm guessing it's me on a bicycle going to my mailbox or maybe it's her on the bicycle delivering it to the mailbox. I don't know, but I just thought it was really cute with all these because they do sticker like decorating and stuff. To, they have like a um, like a combined like sticker um, bucket or something that they use together. And I think that's just so sweet. And so she let her granddaughter go ahead and decorate the envelope. I love it. I absolutely love it. Beth, please tell her I love it. Um, and then this is the back of it. I mean, just, and look holographic. I mean, come on. Does she know me or does she know me? It says rock on love it. And then, um, you are magic down here, but I absolutely love it. I love when kids are so creative and just really have fun with whatever it is they're trying to do. I think this is just awesome. I really like these like longer um, stickers. Those are really cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it. So again, Beth, thank you so incredibly much. I did squeal at the P.O. box because seriously, I didn't, I wasn't expecting, I didn't, I knew you sent it out, but I did I don't know why, I just didn't think it'd be here already. And so when I saw it, I knew instantly what it was. It was laying like on an angle like this in the P.O. box. And I I mean, I, squ I swear, I squealed so loud. I seriously scared the person around me. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, I love it. And yeah, <laughs> you all know I'm crazy. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> I just finished saying, I wish they had this. And it's here. I mean, ask and you shall receive, right? I know these aren't your color, but they are holographic, so I hope you enjoy. Oh, oh, I love it. I love it. I don't care if it's not my color. I love stickers. And this is just awesome. And I love butterflies. Check them out. Are those not beautiful? Okay, these are not going to end up in a subscriber of the week. Sorry, guys, not happening. But um, look at how awesome those are. I love them. Uh-oh, my note just fell because it was on a sticky note. 
Blue Hollow Butterflies, Pip Sticks. Oh, I gotta check them out. Sticker Manifesto. Oh, I gotta check these guys out. Oh, these are so cute. Look at these doggies. Look at the doggos. They are so cute. <laughs> Riley's gonna be jealous because I'm talking about other doggos. These are so cute. Mrs. Grossman's made in Petulaman, California. I don't know if I said that right. Those are so cute. Oh, these are beautiful for corners and stuff. Wow, these are stunning. These are pip sticks also. Check them out, rose gold filigree. Those are beautiful, aren't they? Oh my gosh, Beth, I love these. And I left, okay, they're all the best, but I left the best for me for last. I just finished, what did I just say? I When I was showing you the stickers, I wish they had a whole pack of watermelon. OMG, I just said that, like what, 20 minutes ago or something? Look at those, and then they're double-sided. I love them, I love them, I love them, I love them. Oh my gosh, I love these. I'm gonna cherish these. See, the thing is, is I end up loving them and I don't wanna use them because I wanna keep them, and then it's like, but what, I, I'm not having fun, I'm not. So I gotta figure something out so that I can actually use these for myself somewhere. But Beth, thank you guys so incredibly much. I absolutely love them all. They are just awesome. I love the envelope. Thank you, thank you, thank you to her for um, decorating it. I really do appreciate it. Again, yes, I know her name. I just don't want to. I know you said I could, but I just, I, yeah, just, I hope you understand. <laughs> But anyway, thank you so, so, so much for the stickers. I mean, seriously, I am so excited. Like, so ridiculously excited. And I love the watermelon ones. And I know you probably knew I love the watermelon ones because you know me well enough to know I love the watermelon ones. Okay, I'll stop saying watermelon now. All right, on to Ditastic because I think this video got a little bit longer because I didn't realize the clips from Michael's were as long as they were. Not that they were really long, but they were long enough. I feel like I'm like on speed or something. Something very strange. Very, very strange. Okay, anyway, this is the bag from Ditastic. And I'll have another stitch marker to put onto my new stitch marker tree. Oops, here. <laughs> this is actually an earring tree, and it's made by Robin with Fat Cat Beads. And um, I did an unboxing last week featuring her. But I will put the link in the description box below. It's already in there, but I'll put it up to the top with, um, I guess, Michaels and Ditastic. Uh, but I'll put that up there with the coupon code I have for 20% off anything off of her site. Uh, but yes, definitely go check her out. It's beautiful. It's copper. It's elegant. It's so well made. It's just stunning. Um, if you, I guess I never gave you the opportunity to ask any questions <laughs> about it because I just gave you all the information. Anyway, and she has jewelry. She has, she has all kinds of stuff in her shop. So make sure to go check it out and all the findings and stuff to make jewelry or stitch markers and everything else. And you get 20% off anything in her shop. It'll be in the description box below. So back on to Ditastic. Um, so let's go ahead and open this. And I, I'm ever since I cut that one yarn, I'm like terrified of opening anything that has yarn. Even though I've only cut yarn one time, I've thought I've cut yarn several times, but I've only actually cut yarn once, which was oh, so horrifying. I mean, seriously, it was horrifying. All right, so this is the yarn of the month for May. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> oh wait, which one was it? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the inspiration picture here. And let's go ahead and check it out. This is for May. Ooh, I love that color so far. Yay! Wait, let's read this first. Hold on. Oh, wait, she normally gives me the coupon code for the month. I am going to reach out to her and find out what the coupon code for June is. And I'll put it across the screen if there is one right here, okay? Which typically gets you 10% off of her site. Let's go ahead. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love it. Blue. I love blue. Look at that. It matches my shirt. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Let's go ahead and open this. Sorry for the crinkles. Oh my gosh. That's like really super strong tape. All right. And I do have more stitch markers, but they are all on projects. Even like 
I'm going to still call them whips. They're not UFOs. They will be made at some point. But um, I have like 12,000 project bags on, that are hanging off of Serendipity. Serendipity is my metal mannequin. Um, but in my bedroom. And there are a ton of, maybe not a ton, but a lot of stitch markers in there. Like all of my Swarovski Crystal Heart ones from Catherine with Cat's Eye Catchers. And... Um, some other ones she gave me also and a bunch of other ones so when I'm done with those projects of course the stitch markers will come up on the tree and as I get other which I have more stitch markers that I'll be able to show you not very soon but um I will at some point from the small online businesses for Wednesday and of course once I show them to you they will go up on the tree this is beautiful and the workmanship and everything and the price is so great and the coupon okay i'm gonna stop talking about her because she's not the one being featured oh wow this is really pretty and so dainty they're all gold which i'm a silver person but i still love it look at that i mean it is so dainty and it's just so beautiful so that's the stitch marker that came with the yarn of the month for may and you guys see my hands are better they're not as cracked and stuff i'm so excited I have a funny feeling it's because I've used, not only have I been using my silver cream, but I've been using the silver spray as well. So that's helped a lot, a lot. I will swear by that stuff. Those are, I think they're both in, in the description box below under my Amazon affiliate links. I believe um, the spray we keep in a spray bottle in our purses. I'm going to leave that up there so I don't forget. Um, we leave it in the spray, in a spray bottle in our purses and then we'll spray like, like stuff that like a cart um, at the grocery store or whatever, we'll spray the handle or a steering wheel and our, you know, stuff like that. But that's all. Why am I so into every other subject except what I'm working on? Holy crap. Sorry, guys. I'm like really distractible today. I didn't do getting to know you. So I'm kind of like, I have too many, hmm, I have too many different topics I want to cover. Oh yeah. Crap. Oh, let me show you this and remind me that I need to tell you about something that I was, I'm also going to mention on getting to know you, but I was going to mention, yeah, I need to tell you guys about it, but oh my gosh, this is stunning, stunning. Look at May's yarn of the month. I think it matches the, um, inspiration picture completely. Look at that. All the lighter tones. I mean, you've got the aquas and the deeper blues and the, I mean, so beautiful and so amazingly soft. I love this blue right here. That is just so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let me give you the deets. So, oh, it's the silk sock. I knew it as soon as I saw it and felt it. I knew it had to be the silk sock. I couldn't remember which one I, I meant I picked. But 50% silk, 50% superwash merino, 100 grams, 437 yards. And it's Grecian wildflower. And it, of course, as always, for best results, hand wash and cold water lay flat to dry. Um, so Grecian wildflower. This totally, I think, matches the inspiration picture. It is absolutely stunning. Stunning. Can you see the sheen to it from the silk? It is beautiful. I love, I love this. Oh, I love this. Now, officially, um, the bag fell. Officially, all four of these are, oh man, I didn't think you were going to see this one. I forgot that my head's not that big because I have the, um, the, um, pattern in the page protector <laughs> in there. I didn't, cause I, I was writing the name of the yarn on each one and putting the um, pattern away and then putting the yarn in there. These are the ones that I got from um, the yarn lady, the one that I was hoping to buy, but things didn't work out. But anyway, like the shop, but okay. So absolutely beautiful, stunning, love it. It is amazingly soft. I mean, amazingly soft, ridiculously soft. So yay, that is it. Let me tell you the two things I wanted to tell you. I'm getting to know you, which, ow, I just, Ow, I'm so sorry for screaming. I just, oh, I just stabbed myself with my pen and my, my thigh. And oh my gosh, I think I actually may have punctured my, my skin. Oh man, that hurt. Okay. Let me just tell you the two things I want to tell you. I will repeat it, um, on this week's getting to know you. I just wanted to let you guys know that LBS, Little Vicious Stitches, um, or Catherine upped our coupon code from 10% to 15% for her website. So that will also be in the description box below and as well as the coupon code, which I'll put across the screen. It's just Natalie and that'll get you. No, that's not, no, it's not, no, it's not. Damn it. Sorry. Shoot. Darn it. Whatever. 
Um, I don't have it on here. Why do I keep forgetting to write down her? Anyway, I will put the coupon code across the screen right here um, for Little Vicious Stitches. And that will get you 15% off of everything in her site. Yes, she's in Germany, so there is an exchange for all of us in the U.S., but her prices are very reasonable as well as her shipping. So I, and I've never seen something of hers that I didn't love. They may not be colors I myself would purchase for myself, but I can absolutely appreciate and love them. Uh, she does amazing work. So I would, if you want, I would check out her channel. I mean, her, um, her shop. And, or her website. And then I do have a coupon code for a company. I'm not gonna have anything to show you um, for, of until like September, I think, or maybe, and actually I'm not even gonna be able to start showing it to you until October. But she gave me a coupon code that's already active. So I wanted to make sure that I gave it to you so you could go check it out because she has some Halloween advents and some other fun stuff on her Etsy shop. So definitely I'll put the link in the description box below. It's Fangirls Fiber Co. Um, and the coupon code is Natalie. All in caps, N-A-T, I'll put it across the screen, N-A-T-A-L-I-E. It'll get you 10% off anything in her shop. So make sure to go check that out. Um, so this kind of turned into kind of a podcast, but also... Uh, a shop yeah sorry but there are other stuff I didn't cover that I will cover in this week's getting to know you so this isn't getting to know you um, but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video I apologize if it got too long I really didn't mean for that to happen uh, but I wanted to cover several things so have a great day uh, Miley says hi and bye to her peep she was being a very good girl she was out here before I started recording and then went back inside and thankfully was not barking outside the window like she always does so Thank you for that, Miley. <laughs> but she does say hi and bye to her peeps. My mom said to say hello. We both thank you very much for all the prayers for our friends. We very much appreciate it. Um, since you weren't on my live, there is an update for our friend whose father was supposed to have a major surgery. We found out that when they did the biopsy of the mass that they that they found, or the yeah, um, it ended up not being cancer. So he's not going to have to undergo this massive surgery. So thank you so incredibly much for the prayers. I'm I'm kind of confused on that because I know they were going to be doing other stuff while they were in there, which we thought was all revol revolved around this mass. But evidently, because it's not cancer, they don't have to do the other stuff. So thank you so much for your prayers. And then, of course, for our other friends, we appreciate it, as do they. So thank you very, very much. Remember, for every season, there's a reason to crochet. Love, hugs, and prayers to everybody. Extra prayers for those who need it. Remember, if you don't want to share it publicly, feel free to email me at natalies.closet at yahoo.com. The link is in the description box below, and we will definitely add you to our prayers. Um, and if you want to be added to my Christmas card list, if you're not already on it, feel free to also email me your address. It'll go into my handy handy address book and it will be safe in there. Um, I, it's coming up, so I'm probably going to have to start doing it so that I don't end up having to do like 175 cards all at once because <laughs> that's what ends up putting me behind. Although last year I was impressed with myself. I got them out on time, but anyway, so I think I covered everything. So have a great day and I will see you guys tomorrow night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern, Tuesday, Tuesday, June 15th, 9.30 p.m. Eastern on my live and I'll talk to you guys soon. So have a great day. Love you guys. Bye.